I set up all my I have bins and they sort of stack and I you know display things all over and on the wall there is my what my box share got last week. Oh nice. Uh, so this week they're going to get beans and all this other fun stuff. Yeah, the beans that we're going to pick. Yep, that we're going to pick. Lucky them. So this, this is just the side show. This isn't even the main event. This is what we've done in three years. See, to see what we've done in 21 years is completely different. We have to see the other store. So a thing with, it, with geese is that uh, when a goose is being aggressive what they do is they put their wings out like this okay and they and they come at you like that so if you ever want to chew away a goose you put your wings okay. out okay and then you walk towards them and since you're bigger than they are it works it, generally yes yeah. all right i need to put my wings out like this <laughs> big wings <laughs> big wings exactly Passing. <laughs> You're so mean. <laughs> mean. <laughs> as soon as we get our back to them, they'll, they'll, they'll come at our, our back. Oh, look at that. This will be our office for the today. This is the beans okay, right here. This row. Uh, rows. The, the, yeah, the four sort of rows here. Two beds. Picking beans. What we're looking for is we're looking for for nice beans like this that aren't fat. You can't see the beans like growing in there. And then you can chew the odd one to make sure that tastes good like a bean. What we don't want is to pick ones that are immature, like small or, yeah, little skinny ones like that. They're too immature and then, mm, uh, ah, so this, that's getting there. That's a big one. You can start seeing the, the bumps where the beans are actually forming. Yeah. That's almost there, but it's still good. So I'd, I'd pick that one, actually. That's why you try the odd one. Otherwise, no. <laughs> because you get bean blind after a lunch, <laughs> and, and you can't tell if they're good or not. So eat the beans. Eat the beans. Mm -hmm. Okay. That seems like the easy part. So we got 100, 200 feet of beans here that we're going to go. <laughs> so we started there. And we are now this close to the end <laughs> with one hour of sun left. Look how many I've got. Not that it's a competition, but oh, you're doing a lot better than me. Oh, I think we're very similar. We're both been picking the same amount of plants. What's this? Dinosaur tail. Oh, this is cool. Or black tail, it's called. But it's, uh, yeah, it has this deeper color than the other type of kale does. And that's what makes me feel like it, it's more nutritious. But I have no basis for that in actual scientific fact. It's really cool looking. These are my field tomatoes, which I've sort of neglected as well. These are all going to be paste uh, for, um, I heard some. For sauce. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, these are sauce tomatoes. Usually I string these up. Uh, I can't make those in the back. Yeah, like you'll, you'll, you'll see them how I usually like to have them in my other, and then you'll realize how, how much of a jungle this is. It, it is in here. I mean, they're growing well. Oh, yeah, yeah. They, they do better when they have more airflow. These are watermelons. <gasps> it's my favorite. Here's an itty bitty little one coming. <gasps> and here's a, a larger specimen on the grow. Oh, wow. 
And so this is going to be Sureness, these ones. They're they're really round bowling ball sized ones. Oh, I hear the big one coming on. That actually might be a, I think that might be, actually be a honeydew one. These are winter squash, so like uh, acorn squash and butternut and spaghetti and, and I grow this uh, squash that uh, they found, some archaeologists found in, a, in like a clay pot. They found these seeds and had been in there for like... Really? hundreds and hundreds of years and uh it's a it's a type of squash that the native americans used to grow okay um, that was sort of lost to, to time and 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 so these people found it um and then they've been distributing the seeds out so to keep the the squash like going and and it creates these squash that are like huge they're like really Man. long and, like thick and like big uh, I had one that was 25 pounds. For real? Of squash. Oh, it's massive. It, you could kill somebody with a squash. It's huge. <laughs> uh, and then broccoli. Look at the broccoli. Oh, the broccoli looks like I love broccoli. Are there carrots? Oh, yeah. Coming on quite nice, actually. You ever had kohlrabi before? No. I don't think so. This is kohlrabi. Oh, I've seen this. Yeah, it's it's part of the cabbage family. Uh, it kind of tastes like cabbage, actually. These are peas coming up in here. Uh, okay, so this is a perfect example. So okay. this pea is not the pea that I'm growing. This is a different type of pea uh, than the pea that I'm growing. The pea that I want is this pea right here. And so you can see oh, yeah. different shape. Um, Mm. Way better taste. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's really sweet. That's nice. Let's we'll try this one. <laughs> it's just chewy and oh, not, not it's the like, same flavor. No. Yeah. A different, it's different a dull pea. Yeah. Cool. And these ones, these beautiful flowers, these are going to be purple peas. Mm. They're terrible. Oh. It's the first year I've grown them, and they're absolutely terrible, and I'll never grow them again. But they have beautiful plants and beautiful flowers, and they're awful. They taste worse than that second one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Way worse. It's like the most disappointing thing I've ever grown. And my zucchinis. Like you're growing my leaps and bounds. Oh, wow. They're going to be baseball bats soon. It's too bad that in the morning all the flowers are actually open and they're beautiful flowers. They're just really lovely. Those are huge. Look at that one. Yeah. Like that. No, oh, that, that's small. Like What? That's small? Oh, yeah. I mean, look at it. I'm putting my hand beside it. You can see how big it is. Like, look at this thing. A few days ago. This didn't exist. What? And this is small. That's if, if you if you miss them, I've seen zucchinis easily get this big and like like thick baseball bats. Do they taste terrible at that point or? No, they're not. Uh, they're a bit seedier. Okay. Um, they're better for like sauces and. Oh, all right. I make a a zucchini cumin relish that Ooh. is really good. Three days ago. They were all this size. They were all small, little, little ones. And this one. They only took three days to get that big. It's huge, yeah. And is that how big you'd harvest it at? No, you like... want them way smaller than that. Oh, like that's. Yeah, there's tons of them now. Like I, yeah. I, I turn my back and, and they grow like weeds. Well, um, definitely that's something to grow on this land then, if they yeah, grow yeah. so easy. Well, that's the, that's the joke. It, if uh, if you can't grow zucchinis, don't be a farmer because they grow yeah. so easily. <laughs> yeah. So this is a salad turnip. 
I'm not sure if these will be, usually this is a spring, something that I'd have in the spring, but I grew some to see what they'd be like. No, oh, they're not bad. So it's a fresh, a fresh eating turnip. Okay. That sort of tastes like a sweet buttery radish. Sweet buttery radish. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, it's very mild. Very mild. There, there mm. is a. It will. There will be a little spice towards the end. Okay. But it is a. It's a fresh eating turnip oops, that I usually just. Mm. Beets hiding in that mess. It is amazing how everything just takes over. Yeah. Well, especially when you're neglecting for a week and then all of a sudden... But it's amazing it just takes one week and then this you're is overgrown. popcorn? <gasps> this is the popcorn. Yeah, that's popcorn. So there's black popcorn, orange popcorn, and then sort of red popcorn. Okay. Strawberry popcorn. Strawberry popcorn. Right. Oh, I see. Very different tomatoes. Yeah. So, so tomatoes. tomatoes. Eggplants coming oh. on under there. Um, uh, all peppers uh, start green. Yep. And then they go uh, either red, or I have orange ones, and I have yellow ones, and I have purple ones. And then I have uh, jalapenos and mm -hmm. uh, habaneros and a little cherry, cherry hot pepper. Yeah, these are coming along really great, actually. This is yellow. Those are yellow peppers. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty <laughs> sure those are yellow peppers. This is going to be, these are green tomatoes. Oh, um, okay. So when they're ripe, they will still be green. Uh, and, and they have, uh, they're really nice on sandwiches. They have a nice flavor. They don't get very much bigger than that either. Purple peppers coming on. Not quite ripe, but getting there. Jalapenos doing their thing. Oh, they're so little still, but... Yeah, and I'll actually, I'll harvest some of these, but I'll let sort of like half of them ripen. Uh, they'll actually go red uh, when they're fully ripe. You, you hardly ever see uh, for sale these, yeah. these red jalapenos. When you want to try, you want to try the best cherry tomato you'll ever eat? Yes, definitely. Like, no word. You'll never eat a better cherry tomato. And uh, that's a statement. You will forever be searching for a cherry tomato that looks or tastes as good as this. Best one ever. Best one ever. Really good. It's really good, <laughs> isn't it? It's really good. And you have this, explain again why you have a whole field of it planted. So this is a, it's called a cover crop. Um, basically like a, like a place saver or a bookmark. Instead of having bare field, which is dirt, where the, the wind and the rain can erode my soil away, I plant a, a, a crop uh, to, to take its place and, and the roots hold the soil and they bring up nutrients from the ground. I'll uh, cultivate this all under and then I'll plant another crop that holds a separate niche. So I'll plant oats and peas and they, they do different things. Like they pull mm -hmm. up different, like the, the peas fix nitrogen. And any, anyways, those will be there over winter um, and, and they'll create a, and they'll die off and create like a, a mat that will help with erosion and their roots will be in the ground and the worms will eat the roots and the and all the good things, and then they'll incorporate it. Something for everyone. Wow. Well, all the records are my dad's from when he was a kid. 
make convenient wallpaper. We get all these record like guys in here coming in. Really? Oh, I can't believe you stapled that record up on the wall, and they have a little freak out. And are have, the records actually in there? Or yeah, just the covers. Everything's oh. there. I mean, he hasn't stapled the record, but yeah. Uh, but they're like, oh no, the cover. And my dad's like, what? I've I've had that since uh, I was a kid. My name's scrawled all over the back of it. And it's, yeah, it's not like it's a collector's yeah. level now because it's been you know used and loved. Yeah. Because you guys have everything. It's so random. I love it. A bit from all, maybe not quite all four corners of the world, but I love that you have henna. Oh, and there she is. Thank you. <laughs> Betty. Wow. Candy, that's the best part. Candy. Mm, not many baked goods left, but... Yeah, for end of the day. Yeah. That's what you want to see. Look at all the cheese. Oh, God, it's my cheese nemesis. Cheese from Europe and in Canada and... <laughs> The highest selling magnet of ours, right there. <laughs> this is awesome. And when we first opened, it was just this side. Yeah. And this was our garage, and it was falling down, like it was about to collapse. And so we jacked it up and renovated it, and this was just this one room. And there's a little kitchen here. Wow, it's tiny, but. Yeah. Uh, and then after a few years we added the addition and knocked the wall out. And for the longest while it was actually just a doorway. But we did a second renovation where we put more of the wall in. Yeah, it's come a long way from what it was. It's, this counter is from uh, the general store in, in uh, Halliburton. And okay. my dad found a penny uh, I crammed in in underneath it when he ran it or took the there's a siding on it. The penny was from eighteen uh I can't remember but from like, eighteen something, right? Wow. Uh, this is the, the original general store counter in the in the Halliburton general store. Such a mix. Your shoes. You see the boots back there. I did. Those are so good. <laughs> it's like a collection of everything. Uh, definitely in 21 years of basically living in this place because we spent so much time in it. Yeah, of course. Uh, but, like, what do, are they open every day? Yep. Wow. Yep. And pretty much 365 too. Yeah. Glass is one of those things that's hard to uh, film. Yep. It was a week at, at uh, the college in Halliburton um, where my teacher said I was a really good glass monkey and that I could see and do and make, but I didn't have any artistic skill myself. And, <laughs> and so in, in, to spite him, I did an entire week where I made nothing but chicken foot themed things. And so this was part of the progression was making a a chicken foot stiletto and, <laughs> and that was one of the better ones that I, I made but I, I did a whole week of oh, dang chicken these. feet and this is part of that series this is uh, this is chicken pox is what that one is chicken pox yeah. I love that that's really good wow uh, None of them, since I only had a week to do them, none of them are fully, uh, I, I couldn't take the, the idea and to a completion. They're, yeah. they're all prototypes still, so to me they're unfinished, um, but people it, really yeah. like the claws on that one. Yeah, that reminds me of the emu, actually. Yeah, they're very Jurassic. Yeah. It is so hard to capture. Glasses just yeah. a little like that. You have to see it live. Yep. Unfortunately, I don't have very much of my own work around these days. Most of it is sold or given away or. <laughs>
Thanks so much for watching this week's Film Friday video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for weekly videos. There'll be more farm videos still to come. To learn more about Quaker Oaks Farm, their store hours, how you can get market fresh veggies, or better yet, join the CSA box share, check them out online at quakeroaksfarm.com. And we'll see you next week. Bye!